there's this phenomenon of, as you say, observing what a lot of other people are doing. And not only can you just observe and start assuming that maybe I should be doing something similar to what they're doing, but there's also so many people that are particularly targeting you and telling you that you should follow their specific method. Is that the recommended way to find what you should be doing is trying to find examples and others and see what works for you? Or is there a very different way we should approach this? I think that you, you it, it, it's, it's a loaded question and I prefer to look at, you know, I mean, if you asked me this one and a half years ago, I would have probably told you something else. <laughs> but now I'm, I'm at a point where I start looking at people as children growing up, even though we're an adult body, the way our the, the way we operate and the way we think might not be in a correct correspondence to our physical age. If you are like, like we, we see we see these people who are much older than us and and you can see that man these people really know <laughs> what they're doing like they know what they want and they're doing it they're living the lives like that's what i consider adults <laughs> the people who are running around chasing around constantly wondering what am i doing and and kind of fairly hedonistic thrill seekers even if they're in their 40s or 50s they're not really adults yet and then in, from a, from a consciousness standpoint, because they they haven't chosen their path. Now the thing with today's world that you're talking about is that imagine this: everybody suddenly has a microphone, and everybody who's done something that has made them money is talking on that microphone, saying, "This is what I did." Because the more they talk about this is what I did, it also brings them more money. So they're actually financially incentivized to preach about their own process. But what they're not talking about is that that, only, that process only worked for you because it's you. You are a combination of your behavioral patterns, your traumas, your motivations, your dreams, your education, and your personality. And that's why those methods work for you. But nobody wants to say that publicly because if they say that, it's basically saying, I did this, it's cool, might not work for you. You're going to have to figure yourself out. Very unsexy <laughs> in social media. <laughs> Whereas the real answer is, I need to dig down here and figure out what am I good at? What am I motivated by? What are the ways that I can gift in the world? And can I freaking use that in the world to generate give value to people? And maybe I can look around and ask, okay, I have this problem on social media. Has anybody done that? I have this problem with legal and lawyers. Does anybody have that? You can get reference for the tools that people are using, but you cannot copy their direction. Mm -hmm. But everybody else online, especially they're saying that I figured out if somebody sells you a book and it's supposed to give them more money or it's leading to more, they're trying to like lead you to more money. I probably will not read that because I know that that is highly specific to them. <laughs> mm. So that's kind of where it is right now. And more and more people are trying to be entrepreneurs just saying like, I'm just going to copy what this guy is doing and say no, it's not going to work for you in the long run. <laughs> it's interesting because there's a relief that we're looking for. It seems like whenever I'm seeing someone is doing something right, there's like this constant anxiety and self-doubt that, oh my God, is what I'm doing the right thing that I'm doing? And if only somebody could show up and just tell me, this is what you can do. The moment someone on social media preaches with that level of confidence, which again, they're incentivized to preach with that level of confidence, then you're automatically drawn like moth to the flame because you're like, thank you for saving me from the pain and the anxiety of indecision. And somebody that speaks with confidence can just take my hand and tell me, do it this way. I mean, that's really the point, right? It's like, <laughs> you're telling me that you want to learn how to live your own life. And yet you're on social media asking for somebody to validate your life choices, whereas they have no business validating your life choices because they're not you. Ooh. It's kind of weird, but we do that all the time because we're Ooh. all craving for that. Somebody to tell us, you're doing all right. You're doing the right thing. It's like, yeah, 
So you, you hold left on, is the because right it's now, <laughs> right now, what happens is you're saying this, and I'm like, oh, I just had the wrong person to listen to. Ezekiel, tell me the way to do exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> which exactly? It's like which is why, like, no, like you don't do that. <laughs> you really don't do that. <laughs> I would say that the real adults, I think, in the entrepreneurial world, I, actually, the way I look at it now, almost everybody who is thinking actively about how they want to live is somewhat entrepreneurial because you're already trying to make something completely new anyway. Mm. Uh, you're trying to do it your own way. The only time you should be listening to somebody tell you what to do is if you can specifically ask them, hey, I'm trying to do this with my business and I have this specific problem with this specific tool, with what I'm trying to do, how would you solve that for me? Then you can listen to somebody's experience. But the moment it starts delving into decision-making of the direction of my business or direction of my life, oh God, no, you do not want to outsource that to anybody. Thank you so much for listening to the Selling with Love podcast. We have some previous episodes you can tune into right here. And if you prefer the short form content where you get to the point in under 10 minutes, we do have a ton of clips from our best episodes that are being shared on this channel as well. So pick which one supports you the most. And of course, thank you for liking, subscribing, and of course, selling with love.